did I beat you? What's up ladies and gents, I'm Michael Tooks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a super long minute and since we're all in quarantine right now, I thought it'd be the perfect time to make some YouTube content. So storyboarding really helps with driving the visual narrative, um, but it also is really helpful for the crew because a gaffer or let's say the DP could see something in the storyboard and be like, whoa, I didn't know that we're going to be going that wide or I didn't know that we, you wanted to do this on sticks or do this as a steady cam shot that's going to be a long tracking one. Maybe we should get some more practical lights in. Maybe we should add this on the wardrobe department because we want to accent some colors. So all these things play a pivotal part not just with the cast but with the crew heavily as well with allowing them to understand the kinds of shots the kinds of lenses and overall the kinds of gear that they should be bringing to the table prior to actually being on set and whether you're doing something that's on a big scale or a small scale it makes a tremendous difference in the long run simply because you went out of your way to draw a few pictures in a few boxes Storyboarding isn't just crucial when it comes to the visual narrative of the film, but it's also crucial in time. Being able to see the setups and the angles that you gotta get, the lens switches, the kinds of lighting that you gotta do, depending on how detailed and how rendered your storyboard actually is or what artist you're working with, um, can go miles when it comes to saving hours, hours on set. Storyboarding is also great when it comes to working with clients, especially if you're doing something that's in the brand or the ad space. That is really going to help them wrap their head around the project prior to it being filmed. And when you're able to communicate that, that just shows that you're willing to go the extra mile and clients really appreciate that. Now on the end of timing, Storyboard saves you hours on set simply because you understand what you got to get before you are there. It is crucial and it really helps the crew understand the setups that they got to switch into or the types of lenses because you could have little tally marks. Now, you might be thinking that there's just one way to storyboard, which essentially there is the traditional method of drawing in the squares and laying them out. But there's also different approaches when it comes to seeing your storyboard, whether you're making a small brand project or specifically a much bigger film, when you're able to lay them out. So a traditional storyboard is going to look something like this. This is storyboard artwork from Interstellar. The storyboard artist is pretty good. He also did Ford versus Ferrari. Now you can see clearly with this storyboard artist that his visual direction played a heavy, heavy role in the overall approach for the film. One thing that I would say is more of an animation approach or something that I would say is also like a Pixar kind of thing is working on something that's more like index cards because you can lay out on a wall or on the floor, the full on timeline for the project. And you can really see, do we have all the shots that we need? Specifically with animation, this is really important because you can't really go back and fix things once you're at the end of the line because of the amount of time that's required, deadlines, money, people. So basically being able to lay out your storyboard as a timeline you can see the overall shots and you can see how the story is arcing. You can see if you're having the right establishing shots, the right inserts. Is the flow of the way these angles are moving from shot to shot really seamless? Now I know what you're thinking. Mike, what if I can't draw? What if I just suck at drawing and I draw stick figures? Well, my friend, you're in luck. Because if you have a thing right now called a camera, you don't have to know how to draw. You just need friends. Another way you can go about doing storyboarding is just ask two to three friends to help you do the storyboarding with a camera, taking photos of them, acting out the shots that you want. This is also something that we like to call previs. They use previs more in things with action, stunts, animation, uh, CGI sequences that need to happen, really complex things. But you could also use the same approach, whether it's through photography or videography with shooting something prior to the actual day of filming to block out the scene. That's really what you're doing. That's all storyboarding really is. It's blocking out the scene. Now, if you can't afford to ask friends or let's say you're short on time, what you could also do is use a little thing called action figures. And I'm being 100% serious. You could order on Amazon character figurines that have the full on muscle not to move, fingers, head tilts, chest, bam, body, booty, popping, 
all that stuff. Those guys could hit any pose you basically want them to. Really simple, I mean, all you need is an open space, whether it's outside or using a post-it board uh, blank cutout, and you can map out what you need shot to shot with these two or three little action figurines. And if you're doing a car chase, use Hot Wheels. They're cheap. Now, this is what I like to do when it comes to my storyboarding and I found most helpful. I'll put my storyboard next to my production breakdown. I'll put it in a folder with like the transparent sheets and basically use a dry erasable marker to mark the shots that I have completed for that day or for that particular scene. That way I'm feeling a little bit more accomplished while I'm filming this project and not thinking to myself, wow, this is never gonna get done. It also helps the cast and crew get an idea of how much longer the shoot's gonna take, um, even though it's always gonna take longer than what they think, for sure. I will be giving you guys some links to some storyboards in the description below that I think are great because if you're someone that just wants to draw little small stick figures or someone that wants to get a little bit more detailed with bigger framing outlines for your storyboarding, these are gonna help you a ton with that. Now, if you don't want to take the time to print and you want something that's more of a notebook, check out Plot Devices. This is the storyboard notebook, and I think it is fantastic. This is a great storyboard notebook because, I mean, it has the shots written right there for you if you don't know about labeling shots and uh, basically really what you need. And I like the fact that the framing for the panels aren't too big. You can just check mark whether this is on sticks, the dolly, a gimbal, or if it has visual effects on it too. I always found that having like smaller thumbnail size storyboarding keeps you from thinking this has to be something that's crazy detailed because clearly what I got going isn't. I think when you break these things down into panels like this, it kind of feels like you have a sense of accomplishment. You know, you can, you can put this on that shelf and someone can take it out and be like, hey, is this a storyboard? Did you, is this, is this your movie? And you're like, yeah, yeah, this is my Leonardo da Vinci moment, you know, where you're, you're finding my secret notebook. You know, imagine being 10 or 15 years in the future and they find this. That's gonna be cool. Now with that said, I hope this helps you so much when it comes to filming on set and uh, do it, even if the drawings aren't great. Do it, you can take photos, whatever you gotta do, make that storyboard happen because it's gonna make your story come out so much better. Now with that said, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button, you know, the one with the little, little bell, turn on those notifications, hit the like, or more importantly, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and if it helped. Oh, oh, almost forgot. Instagram, Tukes Films, DM me, your storyboard. I would love to see what you guys got cooking up and I would love to see if you guys are killer storyboard artists because possibly we want to work with you in the future um, because I don't always have time to draw. Uh, also follow us if you're not because I mean of course we, we need to be friends. Basically shoot us a DM on your storyboard or your next film project that you're working on. I would love to see it and uh, create this cool film community that we got going on in the interweb. Tukes Films out.